sauce. Oh yeah, let's get sauce. Yo, 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 welcome to the Weird Sauce Show. It's your head coach, Fradzuki, right here with my assistant coach, Mr. J. Stevens. Star running back. Star running back, assistant coach, player coach combo. Yeah. And we got some other special people in the studio today. We're going to send it around with our panel of experts. Right here, first up, give it up for the man in red, Killer Cam. Yo, yo, yo. Mr. Matu. And next up, you've seen him on our show before, Key Snow, a.k.a. Frosty. What up, fam? It's good to be back. Yep. Yep, yep. And next up, our third expert on the panel today is, last but not least, give it up for Landon. Whoa! <laughs> thanks for having me. Good yeah. to be here. Yeah. Mr. Hot Take himself right here. <laughs> you know me, Fratzuki and Jay Stevens. This is our crew for today. You see it on the board. We are going to be discussing fantasy football. Now, the draft is coming up in a couple weeks, so we have lots of good info for you. We have five booms, five busts at all the major positions. And we got some sleeper picks for you. And we got some Super Bowl picks for you. And we got some other stuff for you. Wow. Yep, you're going to so have to involved. stay tuned. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get this thing started off with QBs. Right now we have five bust, five boom QBs for you. We're going to send it over here to Cam first. Who you got for us, brother? My first, my boom Q quarterback is Ryan Tannehill. He's currently going at QB 11. So if you're in a 12-man team, it's one of the last guys taken. I think he's going to go well above number 11. They got a new offensive coordinator. They brought in Julio Jones. Derrick Henry can't run this much forever. He's yeah. getting a little bit older. Yeah. They're going to throw the ball more. Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, Tannehill's a solid QB, I too. I mean, he's, he's, all, he's always underrated. Like, every, I mean, every year he's, you know, undervalued. And I mean, I mean... You know, well, and he's picked I, up more star power this year. Yeah. He's got Julio, so right. he got more options, right? Yeah, and I mean, he, he had a monster last year. Yeah, he never really gets drafted and talked about, but he puts up numbers. Right. You know, and that's what you want out of your QB. Somebody putting up numbers. Yeah, he's going to be better than 11. Yeah, I agree. I uh, agree. Jay Stevens, I know you got a hot take. You're hyped up about this one. Wait, who, who is it? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Who? Justin What's his name? Field. Oh, Justin yeah. Justin Fields. Why? Homer. Why, yeah. though? Why, why? Why, you might ask. Justin Fields has the intangibles and the potential to be a star. I mean, Allen Robinson is a top 10 wide receiver. You know, one of the best in the game. Mr. Consistent. We have a nice young wide receiver who I will talk about later. And, uh, I mean, Justin Fields is the modern quarterback, man. The man can run. He moves. He's got a cannon. And, like, the potential for him is through the roof. Like, uh, I mean, this is a true boom sort of situation. He might not get the opportunities right away. But when he does, look out. Yeah, it always seems like mid-rookie uh, season for a lot of these guys, that's yeah. when they get their break, right? Yeah. You got the starter that goes out there. He's obviously the veteran coming in. He does his thing up and down. The fans are getting a little antsy, and they go, put in our number one pick, baby. Do it. I mean, everyone saw Andy Dalton last year with the Cowboys, right? Yeah. His time. He wasn't very good. No. Yeah, so. <laughs> he, he just wasn't very good. The job is his for the taking. Justin Fields, I like it. Yeah. Uh, Frosty, who's up on your radar, bro? I got Dak, you know, coming off an of injury. Uh, his, uh, you know, they got a pretty solid offense. And, uh, you know, when he got hurt last year, their their line was pretty pretty shoddy. Yeah. A couple injuries and stuff. They got yeah. everybody coming back, full squad. You got Zeke coming back. Like, I, yeah, I, I like that. I like yeah, that. I mean, he was he was really good until he got hurt last year. Yeah, yeah. You know. He started out real strong. Yeah. That's the deal with a lot of these players. They all have a lot of potential. It's who gets hurt and who doesn't get hurt. Absolutely. Dak's got the crew. He's got everything. He's got the arsenal. Let's see uh, the firepower they bring this I mean, season. They're, they're, I mean, the receiving core is stacked, right? Like, I mean, oh, yeah. they have the weapons for him. I mean, if he's healthy, he's going to have a big year. Yeah. Yep. All right. My boom quarterback of this season is going to be Matt Stafford. Okay. He's moved over. He's got the new team. He's got a new arsenal. He's got new energy, new coach, and he's a thrower. He likes to throw some some dime pieces. So I mean, I, I mean he's he's consistent, right? Like I mean, he's always been good. Yeah. Well, and he's known as a quarterback that throws the ball. You know, some are known for running, some are known for throwing. Uh, he's a solid, consistent thrower, and I, I mean, think he's not, got some new weapons. He should be good. Right, it's not his fault that he played in Detroit. Right. I mean, you can't blame him for playing there, right, right. you know? Well, and he's never, I mean, you know, he needs some weapons. This season, I feel he's going to have it. He's got he a is. good crew. Yeah. He's got a good uh, team. They got a lot of momentum from last season. That was the piece they were missing. I think Matt Stafford is going to be the boom. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. 
And I know somebody else that, that agrees. We're going to send it over to Landon. Who's your boom QB? I'm, I'm also going to go with Matt Stafford, which pains me to say because I'm a Packers fan. This dude was in Detroit forever. Yeah. But we were talking earlier about longevity. Uh, this dude is going to give you 16 games yeah, he every year. Mm-hmm. He, he plays banged up. He's passed for 4,000 yards in six seasons since 2013 in Detroit. Yeah. This dude is there. He's, he's set up to succeed in L.A. He's got weapons around him. He's surrounded by coaches that know how to move the ball, not inept coaches from the Lions organization that just don't know what they're doing year in, year out. I feel like Matt Stafford is going to be a fucking beast this year. I, yeah, I, like I said, I can't, I can't disagree with that at all. Yeah, he's in one of those positions now. He's got the team. He's, yeah. He doesn't have an excuse. You're in Detroit. You're with some of these teams. You go, well... What did you expect him to do? I mean, he's got nobody. Right. Now he's got some weapons, so it's time to produce, baby. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, so those were our five booms. Now we got five busts for you. These are guys that are projected to do well and we think are not going to produce. So uh, we're going to send it back over to Cam. Who do you got on your radar, bro? I got to go with Tom Brady. And I know that that's not going to oh. be a popular Oh, I'm he's okay with go, it. But... You know, I don't have a bunch of numbers to back this up. You know, I know he's the best, whatever, but he's so old, and it's got to stop sometime. <laughs> and I'm saying it stops here. It stops now. Maybe it's a little bit biased. I'm not the biggest fan of him. Maybe this is just more of like a hope, but I'm trying to will it into into happening here. Brady's going to bust this year. He's just got Brady's so many weapons, him. though. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, he's one we'll of those see. players. He is a love or hate player, so we do have a little hate, little shade thrown his way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm always okay with Tom Brady sucking. Oh, so like, yeah. you know, <laughs> if, if Tom Brady, I'm, I'm fine with the bust just strictly because I just I'm want just him ready to suck. It. Yeah, I'm just I mean, ready for it. It's time. It's time. It's time. I feel better about him winning with the Bucks though, than I did with the Patriots. I don't know. I just didn't really like Belichick. I didn't like I that didn't. whole little thing. So, I agree. at least the Bucks, it feels like, all right, you guys are a good team. I, I liked all the other players. You yeah, like Godwin, yeah. Mike Evans, you know, so... Well, they did it once. That's enough. I yeah, think. I agree. All right, so, all right we're going to see if he's going to bust. Uh, Jay Stevens, who's your buster? My buster, and we'll have a little talk about this because I know it's uh, Frosty's and uh, Landon's uh, all buster as well, so they can have a, t- a chat about it when I'm finished. But uh, Jalen Hurts, man, like, I'm, I'm not – I don't think that he's not good. I just don't have any faith in Philadelphia's offense, man. Like, Oh, they're garbage. They're garbage. Uh, Miles Sanders, who I will also talk about 